Hey everyone, uh, it's Peter, um, and today I'm going to show you Sleep Tabs. I'm going to give a quick demo of it and, and also show you how to customise it for your site. Now, I don't want this to last too long, so we better get started. Right, so here's our basic tabbed interface. You can see we've got a couple of tabs here, and it's uh, really quite easy just to click on one and have that tab's content load using Ajax in the background. As you can see there, it's, it's quite nice. And that's basically how simple it is. Uh, so I won't dwell on that any longer. Um, now we're going to have a quick look how you can customise that and add a new tab uh, and show you how easy that is. So if I just go on this file here, it's my example file, exactly like the one that ships with Slick Tabs. So here we've got a basic system whereby um, when you pass the page variable to this file, it, l it will print out on the screen that tab's content. So I'm going to add a new one here, uh, call it tab 3, and then just type in a bit of example text. So that's going to be what's going to show up when uh, when we load the tab. Uh, now we simply need to add the tab, so I'm going to copy this existing tab here, uh, paste it in, and now we're just going to modify it. So I'm just going to change all the numbers over to 2 so we don't get clashes. Right, and now you see the name here is just an internal name. Uh, don't use spaces or any special characters, uh, but it won't show up to the end user, so you can just put that anything you want. There we go, call that tab 3. And the friendly name is the name that actually appears on the top of the tab. So the user will see that. And then the Ajax URL is the URL we've just set up to work. So that's question mark page equals tab 3 in this case and then the fallback URL we're going to have a look uh, at a later demonstration right so now we've done that it should be quite as simple as just saving the file uh, we'll go back into the page just reload it quickly and you can see that's it really easy there's a third tab you click it it shows the content all the existing tabs work as well and that really is how easy it is to use sleek tabs to make a tabbed interface once you've done a little bit of setup and customize the styles for you it's really really quite easy you could do it programmatically as well which is just one of the great things about sleek tabs um, so thanks very much for watching uh, and I'll be back uh, with some more at some point